Okay, um, we might as well get going. Uh, hello, everyone, and welcome to Wontcom's. Uh, welcome back to ODI for Wontcom's a year on. Um, uh, it's been quite a year, I think, actually, from uh, an idea that we had from around this event a year ago um, to what we have today uh, is pretty impressive. Um, I've got the boring thing of reading some numbers, um, so I will uh, plow on with that. Um, I think we have we have a, a large community now on Twitter. I think we've got 1,690 at last count followers. Um, and I think the thing that I see every day sort of in my inbox as I see the lists of people that have, have followed in the last day is um, that it's not just think tanks, it's not just sort of the, the original set of people that we kind of planned this around. Actually, it's gone a bit wider. There's m people from, the journal from journalism, there's people from the NGOs joining us. And I think actually some of the issues we're discussing go well beyond think tank and research communications. They're about communications generally, and we've created a really good community between ourselves to discuss that. Um, we've had 16 different think tanks run, or research institutes run the Wontcoms account uh, on Twitter. And they've given some great, uh, I've learned so much from some of the stuff that's been posted on that, those accounts. Uh, as you all should hopefully know, Wontcoms is just run by volunteers. It's uh, Leonora, Richard and I are sort of kind of looking after it, but everyone has a role to play. And uh, the think tanks that have taken on the Wontcoms account have given so much to it. So. Um, thank you to all of the think tanks that have done that. And if you're interested, get in touch. We have a rotor. We can add you in. Have a couple of weeks. It's a great opportunity uh, to share what you're reading and what you're seeing from the Wontcoms world. Um, we've had a lot of people tweeting to the Wontcoms hashtag, and I hope that lots of you tweet today. Um, this is not the kind of event, as uh, Leonora said last year, where you turn off your phones. In fact, you keep them on and you keep yourself glued to the Wontcoms hashtag. Um, and that's 4,000 different tweets over the last year. I'll tell you how I got these at some point. If you get me a drink, I'll, I can talk to you for it. It's very boring. But uh, <laughs> uh, We've had uh, 54 different posts on the Wontcoms blog. Now, the Wontcoms blog is, I think, a place where people go for a bit of reflection, where people can post reflections on what they're doing. We've had some great posts from researchers. We've had some great posts from communicators and others besides. So. Uh, we're always open. In fact, I think we've ha we don't have much in the pipeline, if anything, at the moment. So we're really open for blogs at the moment. Um, but always interested in hearing what others have to say about the work they're doing or things that they, they are interested in. And um, some of the top blogs, uh, well, I think Leonora is going to introduce some parts of the first blog on the list, which is the year in Wontcoms. Um, so the first panel will outline, will have some ideas from the last year in Wontcoms. Um, a step-by-step -step guide to animations did very well. I'm glad to see ODI stuff doing very well on this list. That's an ODI <laughs> one. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, the third one was a blog that I might have written, which was you know, <laughs> very good, I should say. Um, <laughs> um, LinkedIn group, for anyone that's uh, not a member, become a member, because actually that's it's really good in terms of sharing what we're doing and getting lots of ideas from others and lots of advice and support. So I think we have... It feels like about a, a comment, a, a new discussion post a week or two a week, and lots of comments on it. Uh, we have now 500 members, and I th the thing I really like about it is that, unlike the Twitter account and other things, it's actually quite global. The LinkedIn group we've got uh, only 50% from the UK versus the Twitter group, which is about 70 or 80% from the UK. So LinkedIn is actually doing well at being a kind of a, a global uh, platform for us. So whole series of numbers to kind of say. We're doing quite well um, as a community, I it feels like. Um, the numbers seem to say that. But actually, the practical stuff is, is where I think is the most interesting part of what Wontcoms has done in the last year. Um, I think Wontcoms has helped to inspire some really interesting stuff. And hopefully, the first panel gives you some ideas of, uh, Pete, of, of that. So I'll pass on to Leonora. Thank you. 